What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. I truly appreciate all the love and support to the channel. Um, I'm a single mom of two kids, so it really, really helps support me and my kiddos and my channel. Just saying. Um, love you guys. And by the way, it says 10-5 on my sub count, but it's actually 10-6 now. We have, currently have 10,604 subscribers. Um, I don't know why it's not updating, but it says 10,604 on my end and 10-5 on y'all's. So just, just let y'all know. Um, so yeah. Um, I love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do, do. Just saying. I love y'all. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was, um, it's a free general, mess, uh, free general reading, free, free, blah, free general reading, free general message. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. I just want to make that very abundantly clear. Uh, let me do the song before I forget. Uh, the channel message I received was, because I know a lot of you guys like the song. Um, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from that. Y'all say it helps tie in the messages, helps tie in the readings. Um, and so I'm going to try to make it a habit. Um, the whole the old saying is it takes 30 days to make a habit. So, um, and I've made many positive habits and many negative habits in my life by doing the 30 day rule. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to try to implement this positive habit in the 30 day rule. Just saying, just saying, I'm going to try Just saying. Okay. So, um, the channel message I received was, um, someone was trying to put undue, unnecessary, undue stress on you, but it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Karma is about to energetically backfire in a huge, huge, huge way. Um, that's what I heard. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So someone was trying to put unnecessary, undue stress on you. Like they were intentionally doing it. Um, and they were intentionally doing it. Premeditated, intentionally putting unnecessary, undue stress on you. However, this resonates in your life. Um, they were intentionally trying to do it. They wanted to do it. it they thought about it. It was premeditated. They were intentionally doing this. But I heard basically, um, it's about to energetically backfire into the universe upon them. So, um, for some of these people, they could be black magic doers. I did not hear that, but they could be for some. Because anybody that wants to put intentional premeditated stress upon you, they obviously want negative into the universe for you um, and maybe other people. So, they, for some, they could be black magic doers. For some, not. I didn't hear that part. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning on this. But you plug it in how it resonates. But however it resonates, whether they are black magic doers or not, um, it is about to energetically backfire boomerang upon them in the universe energetically. So through karma, I heard, through negative karma. So they are about to get some kind of negative karma in their own life, in their own circumstance, in their own something. Oh, sorry. Um, somehow in their life, That's confirmation from my intuitive kitty, by the way. It's not fat boy. It's my intuitive, kid, intuitive kitty. Um, come here, baby. Come on. Um, they're about to get some kind of negative karma, energetically boomeranging, backfiring upon them in their own life in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, negative karma can come in many different shape, form, fashions, and circumstances. Um, depending, everybody's life situation is different. Everybody's different. So it really all depends on how. Every, I feel... Whoever this person is and however they plug in your life, for some it could be one person, for some it could be two plus, for some I feel it could be one person because I heard singular-esque energy, but for some it could be two, two plus, you plug it in how it resonates. It's somebody that intentionally premeditated to put stress upon you, basically. For some it could be one, for some it could be two plus, but they're about to get theirs in the form of karma in the universe, basically, uh, is what this is boiling down to, is what I'm feeling here. So you plug it in however it resonates. Uh, hold on one second. Oh. Well, we're going to have to wait on the song. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So you plug it in how it resonates. Mm -hmm. 
You are about to get many positive blessings in the universe soon. It is definitely your time. Your time to shine and other things. He is still going at it. Come on, baby. Come on. This must be a very important message because he is just go he going at it. Um, usually I'm calming down, but meow, 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 meow. Just saying. Come on, baby. Come on. I heard you're about to get many wonderful blessings in the universe. So you're about to get many wonderful things happen to you. I heard it's your time to shine. So your time to shine in some shape, form, or fashion. It could be to one person, a group, a, a, I don't know. Um, it could be to one person, to a group, to many, 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 many people. You could have a public platform like I do or not. Um, you could be a celebrity. I didn't hear you were, but you could be. Um, or you could be like a leader of something or going to be a leader of something. Some kind of time to shine energy. For some, I feel like it could be the person that's about to get that wonderful employment opportunity. I've been pulling in uh, for some. Um, but you, everybody's different, so you really have to plug in your life however it resonates for you. Because everybody's different. So um, you plugged in how it resonates. Good Lord. I'm being patient, but I really... I'm thinking about the song. Okay. So we're going to keep going. We have Effortless on the bottom of the deck. Effortless. Things are about to start falling into place for you very soon, very quickly. Just keep manifesting in a positive way. And to one particular person, it's very important. You need to cut out one very toxic person for some two plus toxic people. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So whoever you are, only you know you know your story, not anybody else. Whoever you are, I heard it's about to start falling into place for you very uh, soon and very quickly. So it sounds like things are about to start. Whoever you are, I feel you've had, maybe you were in the delay energy. I'm feeling you were in the delay energy for some. And for some, you could have just had negative karmic energies, just putting unnecessary and undue premeditated stress upon you. Um, they were intentionally doing it, um, one or two plus people. But it sounds like you have broke free from it or you're about to break free from it. Um, and it's about to start coming very soon and very quickly for you. So it's about to come effortlessly for you. Um, because it sounds like you're taking the steps or you have already taken the steps to release from toxic energy or energies, people or pe person or people, basically. However, that resonates. And for some, I heard, um, it's very important to release one very toxic person in your life slash energy. And for some, two plus very important toxic people slash energies. Only you know who those people are, not anybody else. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug those toxic person or people that you need to release and cut from your life to make it effortless, I'm presuming here, and to make things fall into um, fall into place for you in a positive way. Um, how that resonates in your life. Uh, we have the effortless card. So it sounds like things are about to start falling into place effortlessly, easily, and um, it sounds like in divine timing here. And I didn't hear divine timing, but it sounds like it is. We've had a lot of divine timing energy in here too, spiritual messages from other readings. So I feel for some, it is divine timing for some, but for some, you it is important that you have to, you don't have to, of course, everybody has free will, but I think in order for some of you guys, because everybody's different, for some, I feel you've already put out the toxic energy or energies, for some, you haven't. But for the ones for it to fall into place effortlessly and easily, it's important to cut out toxic person or people. To make it be effortless is what I'm feeling. Because I feel there's two different spectrums here. Some of you guys have already done the work. You've already cut out the person or people. It's about to fall into place very easily. Effortlessly and easily and quickly. For some, you haven't. And you've still got one toxic person in your life. For some two plus. You only you know who these people are and how they resonate in your life. Not anybody else. Because only you know your story. Um, and so in order for it to come effortlessly and easily to you, you need to cut out the person or people, toxic, i.e. toxic people. These could be, this could be public, this could be private, 
this could be situationships, this could be cheating with married people, cheating with single people, cheating with the neighbors, um, shooting up meth between your toes, uh, sleeping with the preacher. These are just examples. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates over here in this group uh, with the toxic energy or energies. You plug it in how it resonates. Effortless energy. Um, but regardless, um, somebody has already done the work. And it's about to come very effortlessly and easily and quickly for you. So um, congrats to you, whoever you are. And I heard quickly, I heard quickly, effortlessly, effortlessly easily, and quickly. Um, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily easily like it's going to be given to you on a platter. I feel like you've done the work, is what I'm saying. I feel like you, you have definitely done the work. Definitely. And we will continue to do it. Okay, I heard you have definitely done the work, definitely, and you will continue to do it. So, group over here, I heard you have definitely done the work, and you will continue to do it. So, you've definitely put in the time, energy, effort. You have grown and manifested yourself. I feel you've done healing and shadow work. You have, I mean, you've really put the freaking effort in. You have, um, energetically into the universe. And I think that's why it's about to boomerang negatively onto the people trying to put undue stress and worry, anxiety, and fear on you, basically. Um... That's why I feel for some, they're black magic doers, but I didn't hear that part. But however that resonates, um, it's about to come to you Be because, in all fairness, you have done the work. You have done the work. I heard from Spirit you have. You've done the work, man. You've done it. So it's not like you just sat over here and you were popped your feet up and you're eating caviar and creamsicles and... Um, expecting everybody just to do for you and do for you and do for you. No, um, you have really put the effort in. Effort, effort, effort. Spirit messages you have reflected. Vigilance reverse. Harmony reverse. The people that really have made bad decisions and have not taken care of themselves or other people recently are about to get very negative karma. But you keep on your path. It is not, not, not you or your doing. You just keep on your path. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Wow. I heard people that basically, um, they did not, they were not vigilant. They did not watch out for other people, their backs, other people's backs. They did not, um, for some people, I feel like they're the ones that were trying to put undue stress and worry, anxiety, fear on you, like nine of swords energy. Um, that's what I'm feeling uh, for some. I feel they were the ones trying to put the evil and negative onto you or someone you care about. Or someone you're connected to, how that resonates. But they, they, it's like they were, it's, I feel this is reckless energy, to be honest. Harmony reversed with vigilance reversed. I feel this is very reckless energy. And I didn't hear that from the spiritual downloads, but I feel that. Um, th they don't care about other people. They care about themselves, bringing themselves up, manipulating situations to go in their favor, period, um, for their gain. But it's about to energetically backfire on them about to energetically backfire because they don't really care. They could claim they care about other people, but actions speak louder than words. And that's just the truth. So they don't care, really care about other people. They truly don't. Whoever I'm speaking to over here in this group, you do. And I feel the ones in this group, you do too, but you just got to remove toxic person or people from your life to get it to go effort, effortlessly is what I'm feeling. But however it resonates, the people that are about to get the negative karma, basically, 
they don't look out for other people. They don't. They truly don't. Um, they, I think they are very selfish and materialistic. They just care about themselves. And yes, I like nice things. Absolutely. I do personally. But am I going to beat somebody down to a bloody pulp physically or mentally or spiritually or otherwise to get what I want? No, no, dear God, no, no, you know, um, just absolutely not. So in harmony reverse, it's causing, um, it's going to cause or, or it's already causing har disharmony in their life because it's harmony reverse. So it, that's the negative karma energy is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that's the negative karma energy here because they don't look out for other people. They don't look out for themselves. They don't look out for their child or children if they have children or themselves. Um, maybe they self-harm themselves or self-harm other people or um, cause undue harm on other people. I didn't hear any of that. Maybe. Um, but they don't. It's They don't look out for themselves or other people. Um, and it's causing unrest in them or is about to with the heavy negative karma. You plug it in how it resonates? Dear Lord. Now, I just want to disclaim for this. Yes, you should absolutely look out for yourself and other people. Absolutely. Absolutely. But should you be a martyr to people and let them walk all over you? No. I just want to make that very abundantly clear too, okay? A yes, you should look out for others. Yes, you should stand up for yourself. Yes, you should stand up for others. Absolutely. But should you let others walk on you? Should you be a martyr to other people? Should you throw yourself under the bus to help protect somebody else that is negative um, or is doing negative to other people? No. Um, I just want to make that clear. A particular Libra masculine is going to try to seduce a fit Leo feminine soon. It is going to energetically backfire on them in a huge, huge, huge way. Huge. This person is not interested. Oh, my Lord. Woo! It's getting juicy in here. Okay, I heard a Libra masculine. So, Libra masculine energy um, to Leo Femme energy. Um, I heard a Libra masculine. I'm presuming this is probably a, one of the ones that's going to get negative karma, I'm presuming. Um, I didn't hear specifically it was, but it sounds like it through the spiritual download. But you plug it in how it resonates. But the goal of this Libra masculine is to seduce the Leo Femme. So, it's strictly sexual energy. Um, it's not cuts energy is not feelings emotions i'm gonna you know um uh ride or die to the end kind of energy it's not emotional fulfillment it's sex wine energy basically um sexual passion energy but i heard they're gonna attempt to seduce a leo femme soon so leo i'm sorry libra masculine energy to leo femme energy they the libra masculine could have libra in their sun moon rising venus or their mid or jupiter leo femme could have leo in their sun moon rising venus or their mid or jupiter charts but i heard it's going to energetically backfire on, and boomerang back onto the um libra masculine so i heard the leo femme's not interested she's not interested i'm sure she's probably going to tell him so and then the karma is going to cycle back around to the leo i'm sorry the um libra masculine low vibrational libra masculine so you plug it in how it resonates and that could be the harmony reversed he's going to be very pissed because she's going to turn him down um, this sounds like a win at all cost kind of low vibrational Libra. Now, everybody manifests just because you're a Libra, and I've been accused of hating Libras before. I've had this channel almost two years. I've been accused of hating Libras. I just want to disclaimer this. I don't dis I don't hate Libras. I have Libra in one of my charts. So I definitely do not hate Libras. Just let you know. I have Libra in one of my charts. So why in the hell would I hate a Libra? Just saying to say. Uh just let y'all know. But these kind, I don't care. This is a Libra masculine specifically, but I don't care what sign this person is. They're low vibrational. I don't care what freaking signs they have in their chart. They are low vibrational. You can be any sign, any sign, any sign and be high vibrational, low vibrational. It's how you choose to manifest. This person just happens to be a Libra dude and they have Libra in their charts. Um, so I don't hate this. I don't hate Libras. Just let y'all know. I don't hate them. I have Libra in my chart, man. Just saying. Um, just saying.
But, you know, he's coming around with sex wand energy. Well, what does he expect? He's coming around with sex wand energy. And whoever he's about to try to manifest is a high vibrational energy, I'm feeling. Or is becoming high vibrational. However that resonates. But she's not interested. She's interested, not interested to the point she has either growing and manifesting herself or she is, out, she is, what, whoa, 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 how that resonates. And I heard it's going to um, piss him off. So it's going to cause disharmony in his life. It sounds like a win at all cost kind of person, whether it's a Libra or not a Libra. It's going to cause disharmony in him. He's not looking out for the bigger picture here. He's not looking at the bigger picture, basically. He's not looking at the bigger picture. However, another high vibrational Libra masculine energy is about to become a very positive influence in this Leo feminine's life. It is going to piss this low vibrational Libra masculine off very, very, very much. Very much. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Man, we're getting juicy in here. Okay, so we have strong Leo and Libra energy in here. Uh, you might be these people. You might be connected to these people. You have to plug in your life however it resonates. But we have a Leo femme, either getting high vibrational or is high vibrational woke energy Leo femme, and a low vibrational Libra femme over here. And then we have a either getting high, um, higher vibrational Leo femme, or is high vibrational woke Libra, I'm sorry, Leo femme energy. And a high vibrational Le Libra femme energy. I'm sorry, not Libra femme. Le uh, Libra masculine energy. So Leo femme to Libra masculine energy. Leo femme to Libra masculine energy. So Leo femme to Libra masculine energy in two different situations is what I'm trying to say. But in this situation, it's a high vibrational Libra masculine to a, either a higher vibration or getting to higher vibration. Leo femme. Or a high vibrational woke fem, Leo fem energy. How that resonates. But I heard um, this situation, and it could be the same Leo fem. I feel like it could be from the spiritual downloads because I heard this high vibrational Leo, Libra fem. I'm sorry, Libra masculine. I keep wanting to say Libra fem. Maybe, he, maybe he's in his feels. Maybe he's in his emotions. I keep saying Libra fem, but um, it's not. I heard. Libra, masculine. So it could be a dude that takes on fem energy. Or he could be um, caring towards this situation. Or he just likes her as a person. I'm not feeling sex wand energy over here is what I'm saying. I'm not feeling sex wand energy. This is sex wand energy. This is not sex wand energy. So I don't feel it's something like, mm, you know, oh, oh, I'm banging on. A, no, not like that. Not like that. Is what I'm saying. It's not sex wand energy. It's like cups energy or intellectual with cups energy. How that resonates. Um, how that resonates, but it's not sex wand energy. It's high vibrations here. Um, how that resonates. But Art, he's about to become very significant in her life. And it, um, many positive series of chain events are going to occur there. Many. Oh, okay. Well, that was fast. Okay, I heard many positive series of chain events are going to occur there, many. So many positive series of chain events between these two, but it's high vibrational energies or higher vibrational energies. However, that resonates. I heard he was high vibrational. So in some of these situations, if you're the Leo Femme, you could be getting up higher vibration or you could already be up there. However, that resonates. But he's definitely high vibing. I'll tell you that. But I heard he's about to become a very, very positive influence in her life. So he is either already in her life and he's about to become more prevalent in her life or he's about to enter her life. However that plugs in in, these, in this situation, however it plugs in your life, if it is, this is your story. Um, I heard he's going to piss off the low vibrational Leo, um, not Leo, ah, the low vibrational Libra masculine. So that's why I think these are interconnected. I think it's the same Leo film and two different Leo, um, ah, I need to slow down. Okay. I think it's the same Leo film. And different Leo, uh, Libra masculines. Same Leo femme. Different, different Libra masculines. That's exactly what I think. Um, it most certainly is. Oh, Lord. That's, oh, my God. That's confirmation from the spiritual realm. It is. It is, you guys. It is. I, I was feeling that. I was feeling that. I was feeling that. I was feeling that. 
I heard it is. It is. Okay, so it's the same dude. Um, same shit. It's the same shit. Different dudes. I heard it's going to piss off this dude very much. Um, he's already in her life in some of these situations. If you're the Leo Femme or somebody connected to the Leo Femme and the Libra dudes, um, or he's about to enter her life. How that resonates. Um, but he's definitely how about it. I'll tell you that. So, um, you put. You plug in how it resonates, but somehow this low vibrational leaf or a masculine is about to find out about this. Whether he's or this dude is already in her life or is about to enter her life. How that resonates. How that resonates. Oh my God. Several shocking series of shame events will occur with this situation. Very positively. Okay, I heard several soft, shocking series of chain events will occur with the situation very positively. So, um, you plug it in your life, however, it resonates some kind of several positive, shocking series of chain events, I think, between these two. Libra, high vibing, Libra masculine, and either getting high vibrational Leo Femme or already woke in high vibrational Leo Femme. Positive series of chain events. So, not sex wand energy, um, nothing crazy like that. So you plug it in, how it resonates. All right, let's do the song. I'm going to forget. I'm already at 26 minutes. It's running long. Blue on Black by Five Finger Death Punch. Ah, five Finger Death Punch and Friends. Blue on Black. Y'all know the song, Blue on Black. Like that song. Oh, my God. So, um, Blue on Black. Well... He's going to be pissed, 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 pissed when he finds about finds out about this positive connection. Well, um, hopefully he don't want to put no blue on black on him. Just saying, just saying. Hell, I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, but he needs to calm down with his sex wand energy. And I'm just being serious. This dude is all about another li a Libra femme high vibrational is getting a huge wake up call. Huge. And a Pisces femme. High vibrational. Oh my God, we got a lot of people up in here. Holy shit! Okay, there's a lot of people up in here. So you have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate. If you do, okay. So we have this Leo Fem significant and a two Libra masculines. I'll tell you that for sure. And then we have um, a um, high vibrational Pisces Fem and a high vibrational Libra fam getting huge wake up calls. So you could be the high vibrational Pisces fam or the high vibrational um, Libra fam. However, however that resonates. Um, you could have Pisces or Libra um, feminine energies over here and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thome and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But I heard you're high vibrational. So you are woke. You are high vibrational. You don't go around causing strife and chaos and drama and um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera on other people. Um, you're woke, you're woke, you're woke, you're woke, whoever you are, high vibrational Pisces femme energy, high, high vibrational, um, Libra femme energy, um, but you're getting wake up calls about the situation, hopefully in a positive way, I mean, I'm not sure you play in your life, however it resonates, okay, um, all right, we're done, I'm closing it out, it's a long reading, um, love you guys so much, namaste.